We have Windows Defender, we have Microsoft Defender, we have Windows Security, and now Microsoft just launched another Defender product. So are these the exact same thing or are they different and do we need all of these? Well, let's start with Microsoft Defender. This is Microsoft's own antivirus software. It was first called Windows Defender when we first saw it as a downloadable app back in Windows XP days. It then came pre-installed with Vista and Windows 7. Now from Windows 10 onwards, Microsoft Defender was no longer a standard antivirus app. It became part of and managed by Windows Security app. We'll get onto this shortly. You mentioned Defender and people lose their minds because back in the day when it was called Windows Defender, it really wasn't good. Like at all. But times have changed and so has Defender. So is it good enough now or do we still need those third party antivirus? Well, it kind of depends on you. Defender relies on having internet connectivity and being connected to the cloud. As with everybody else, you still get the daily updates of virus definitions, but without getting all the techie bits here, Defender really needs to have that internet connection. Whereas with other antivirus software, it does a lot more on the actual computer and kind of less in the cloud. So if you're often not online for days or weeks at a time, or you have a really slow and terrible connection, it's probably gonna be better to go with one of those other vendors. But if you are permanently connected to the net and you're a casual browser who is security aware, who doesn't hang out on torrenting site and certainly doesn't download dodgy pirated software, well, then Defender does a really good job. It's no wonder that it scores very high on reports run by antivirus testing labs around the world. Now, to be clear, Defender is certainly not perfect, but no antivirus system is perfect. I mean, if it was, hackers and scammers will be out of business. And for that extra caution, you can actually run Defender alongside another antivirus if you want that double protection. So Windows Defender is no more. It is now called Microsoft Defender. It all lives inside Windows Security. Think of Windows Security as a container app and it houses anything to do with stuff related to the security of your computer. In Windows Search, type there security and you'll see the Windows Security app. Simply click on that. Now, over here, you'll see virus and threat protection. This is where you manage your antivirus, even if you're using an external one, not Defender. Under account protection is where you find all the information that sees who can log into this computer, as long as Windows Hello and Dynamic Lock. Next up, under firewall and network protection, these are all the rules and regulations that you have on your network of what kind of data can enter and leave and where does it go to. Under apps and browser control, reputation-based protection, as well as exploit protection, this is the kind of stuff that makes sure you don't download anything dodgy or hit any of those phishing sites. And of course, there's a bunch of customizations that you can do depending on the option that you land up in. And under device security, this is to do with the hardware and depending on what system you have, some of these options may or may not be available. There's a health check for your system as well as family options to help you protect your kids online. Now, there's a lot here. So if you want me to go through these, and what settings to choose and what to click and what not to click, let me know and I'll create another video for that. And that should have been the end of this video. However, Microsoft has just launched a brand new product and guess what they call it? Wait for it. Microsoft Defender Preview. Like what, why, how? We just explained how Microsoft Defender is the antivirus. So what is this Microsoft Defender Preview? It's a new security app slash dashboard that helps you manage and protect your devices. And it works with Android, iOS, and Macs. That from a single place, you can provide these devices with malware protection and protection from malicious and phishing websites and get real-time alerts and recommendation. Let me show you how to get it. Go into your Windows search, type there store. Then you'll see the Microsoft store. And then in your search, type there Fender Preview. This will pop up, click on that, and then you'll be able to install it. Mine says open because obviously I've already got it installed. Now, once you've installed yours, to find it again, go to your search and then just simply type there Defender. You'll see an option now called Microsoft Defender Preview. Click on that and this is what it looks like. Very Windows 11-ish kind of feel. First tab is all about safety tips. Middle tab is about information of this device that I'm currently protecting and he pulls out that status from the Windows security. Here's the thing, now you can add additional devices. I can also add devices manually by sending them the link in instant message or emailing them the link which it will do directly through the system 
or I could even create a QR code to be scanned by my phones in order to install it on the phone. Well, right now it's totally free. It's available in English and only in the US and you need to sign up using a Microsoft account such as at outlook.com or at hotmail.com or at live.com. Well, let me know if you want me to go through those security settings in the comments below and check out this video over here that YouTube really knows that you must watch next. And I'll see you in that video. Let's go.